I am Jeffrey Villardwan in Medieval Total War in the Italian Wars version 5.2, the ultimate version. There is a game breaking bug that I'm trying to sort out around game turn 80. It is affecting the game. As I promised, I would go back uh, into Medieval Total War, so I've started an Urbino campaign and it's uh, been going quite well. There's a couple of other bugs. Maybe I'll do a video about bugs and. Uh, Italian in the Italian wars, but in any case, the uh, Urbino campaign is uh, going reasonably well. Um, and uh, as far as it'll go, I'm uh, now outside of Venice. And uh, here is the fleet, it's uh, led by the uh, Duke of Urbino. Urbino was the faction that um, Raphael, Raffaello the artist, Raffaello Buonarroti, lived to the city where he lived and worked. So we've got our fleet here, it's about to land on Venice. Si, signore, conduciamo il... Si, mio signore. Si, mio signore. Blocchiamo il commercio di questo posto. I vostri ordini, nobile signore. Ci scontreremo con loro con onore, mio signore. Con l'onore. So, we are sieging... Uh, no, we have attacked the army that was outside Venice. There was an army outside. Uh, here's what this army looks like. There, it has some heavy cavalry as well as uh, lots of missile units. No melee units. There are some melee units with a doge inside. Doge Monsenigo. Oh, sorry. Dodge Pietro Loredan. I think it was an historical character. So was Monsenigo. Alla battaglia. Whatever. In battaglia. Or whatever they say in Italian. And um, yeah, that was the most exciting battle in the campaign. I had brought a very nice pack and short army, so let's hear the general give his speech. I nostri nemici sono bestie senza Dio. Per questo noi siamo solo spade in mano ai custodi del cielo. Noi compiamo la gloriosa missione di Dio, e se cadiamo, cadremo nel nome suo, e se trionfiamo, sarà perché così lui avrà voluto. E ora abbassate la testa e preparatevi a fare ciò che dovete. Sono certo che i corpi dei nemici veneziani saranno un buon bottino. In genere sono troppo attaccati al denaro. E io non credo che lo lascerebbero a casa, dove le loro impide mogli potrebbero rubarsi. E ora ha passato la testa. Vedo dei pistolieri tra le file nemiche. Dobbiamo fare attenzione. Non bisogna fornire loro bersagli troppo facili. Le nostre truppe corazzate Dovrebbero prepararsi ad affrontare quei pazzi che puzzano di zolfo. E ora chiunque non stia pregando per la vittoria, veda di fare la pace con Dio, o io non gliene darò da oggi in poi. Ora datemi la spada e fatemi baciare la croce prima della battaglia. Ora prima della battaglia. That was glorious. I have no idea what he said, but it sounded inspiring anyway. So here are these glorious pikemen of Urbino. These are the mainstream pikemen everyone gets. Very snazzy colors. We are ready to start. Okay, so we're set up in a pike and short formation. Tertius, of course. The glorious tertius you can get in this mod once you can get pikemen. Here's the enemy army, as I said, it's mostly arquebusiers and other missile units, various archers and all kinds of things. So here's our army who have deployed in this uh, tertial like formation with about well, about nine tertius, I think. Not all of them have. Uh, missile units associated with them. Uh, this one has uh, um, uh, not arquebusiers but um, here's the 
main enemy army. I think this is a doge, a thing with his guard. It's a sizable army, and there's in addition to the, to the doge, there's also another guy. So he, that was the heavy infantry, the guard, the the guard of the dodge and uh, some other shielded infantry here. So here's uh, our army, we were preparing for the uh, outcoming, so we have the cavalry on the side and we have um, the shot units facing the enemy shot units, so it makes sense, yeah? So chains here, remove the sound, because I don't like this synthesizer kind of sound. Uh, most of the music in the mod is good, but some of it, you know, this synthesizer thing annoys me a little bit. They could have cut the intro out. So here's our cavalry facing uh, the Doge. We have three uh, Condottieri heavy cavalry units, very heavy, with 80 men each. Uh, the enemy heavy cavalry has 62 men each. So and here's our Duke. The Herzog, the Duke of Urbino. The mod, a lot of it is in German, so the mortar and iron um, must have been German, if I remember correctly. I interacted with him briefly a little bit in the past. And uh, here's uh, the enemy dodge, I suppose, so it could be his uh, his second in command. Both of them are participating in the battle. And I was acting with one of the heavy cavalry units and the other ones are maneuvering. Some of it is offline because I have to give commands for units. So here's some... Le sorti della battaglia pendono dalla nostra parte. Se rimaniamo saldi e impavidi, la vittoria sarà Okay, dopo. so that was one of the enemy heavy cavalry units, so they have two of them. 62 men each. They don't seem quite as heavy as our own Condottieri, so that's good. And our units are also bigger. They've uh, entangled themselves against one of the uh, tertiaries here. And uh, the second line spearmen are attacking them and then they just run away, so we reformed the tertiaries. After that, here's another enemy general. He grazed past that tertiary and is attacking some spearmen that are at the back there. The enemy cavalry does not want to attack our tertiary. They're kind of skirmishing, trying to find some weak units. And we have two units of spearmen, so here's one of them. But they're not really weak, I guess. I mean, once they're on guard, they're doing okay. And here's the um, decisive fight, if you like. Here is the enemy dodge, it's caught up in this battle here. Here's one of his units that brought along one of the two heavy units uh, that's been surrounded. Okay, whatever. Uh, and so this unit has been practically decimated, just has a few men left fighting to the end. Uh, eventually, the other Italian commanders uh, gravitated towards this part of the battlefield because they didn't want to deal with the tertiaries. Um, here, I'm fighting one of the enemy uh, cavalry units. I can't remember if it was a commander or what it was. I think it was just one of the cavalry units. And uh, here is uh, that very heavily guard unit. Uh, it's down to a couple of men. They are practically all dead now. And I've uh, turned this tertiary here with the, uh, the heavy color against the enemy general's bodyguard, the doge's bodyguard. The doge is somewhere in here. There you can see him near the middle. Uh, you can see him. The doge is dodging everyone. Sorry for the silly pun. Yes, in the middle is bloodied. He still has a couple of bodyguards with him. Uh, three bodyguards or four? No, five bodyguards, okay. If I'm not mistaken. But uh, now, uh, most of his companions are dead. 
So you got Silmus, you got, uh, so you got two or three of them with him. Yeah, he's got two still standing, very bloodied, not as much bloodied as he is, almost. Another one's gone down, and now he's on his own. Now he's the last man standing. It's very tough to kill. Oh, he won't run away. I thought he was going to run away, but uh, at this point. But he decided to stay on and fight. He's fighting for his city. He's fighting to the death. Sì, all'ode all'onipotente. Il nemico non ha più il fegato per combattere. Dobbiamo approfittarne. Okay, I think the commentator says something like victory is almost certain. It's no longer a hypothesis. Or maybe it is a hypothesis, I'm not sure. Something along those lines. And the Doge died, uh, so we can continue the battle. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of it is in German in this mod. Um, you can still play it. You know, the Germans sometimes have this um, awkward view of the world because they dub all the movies into German. I have the impression that they think that the rest of the world speaks German. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because they dub all movies in German, including Hollywood movies, everything. Japanese movies, whatever you have. So they think the rest of the world all speak German. <laughs> Why should we have it in English? Everybody speaks German. So they made this mod in German. Yeah, and... Uh, basically it's over. So what can I say about this mod um, before uh, the battle is over? Uh, it's very nice, but it crashes around game turn 80, and I'm trying to work out why it crashes. So I've played four campaigns now, including hot seat campaigns, like multiplayer ones, as a, as a try, you know, as a, as a test, and uh, they've been crashing. So I'm trying to work it out. If I can work it out, I can have a crash bug-free version of the mode for everyone to use. Until then, enjoy the last few views of this battle. L'intera cristianità rimarrà stupita per la vittoria che oggi abbiamo qui conseguito. Okay. Everyone is stupendous by this victory. Or the victory was stupendous. Everyone was stupefied by this stupendous victory. So we lost, uh, we lost a decent number of men, but still we won. And some of the units did uh, particularly well, more than others. Um, the missile units did very well, but some of the arquebuses did uh, did rather well. So yeah, uh, great uh, great units in terms of their looks, and some of the factions have very snazzy units. A lot of the factions, you know, the Italian factions have wonderful looking units. This is one of the uh, most colorful Ubino. And um, we have the option to, uh, to release the uh, Doge or ransom him. Ransom was uh, not accepted, obviously, they did not have enough money, but also wanted to take Venice. Yeah, so there was no way out for him, he was going to die. The other faction, the blue faction, Ferrara, moved very, very fast. Suddenly, it was like running all over Venice, and it was capturing one city after another, and then Venice attacked one of my ports. Okay. Okay, so Blink Siege. Blink Siege on Venice, then. So, a Venetian fleet blockaded one of our ports out of the blue, so I decided to join the fray, even though Venice had been an ally until then. And Ferrara was just, you know, just steamrolling, you know, just turn after turn. Every like couple of game times, I would take a, one of the Venetian settlements. So, I had to try and get something, so I had to try and get Venice, I guess, because that's about the only thing that was left at this point of Venice. 
I don't know how they um, folded inwards so quickly. So here are the various um, sort of uh, things that the commander got, various whatever, ancillaries and buffs and so on. So um, the lane sheet on Venice also blocking the port. I will auto resolve, of course. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I was contemplating here to actually fight in the battle to see, but the settlement is fairly standard. It's not going to see. You're not going to see real Venice. Yeah, not going to. You know, I mean, it's just going to be a standard settlement. So I thought it's not worthwhile. Benedetto sia il Signore. Lo ringraziamo per questa vittoria. Il nostro coraggio ha prevalso. Ora queste terre sono vostre, mio Signore. Okay. I'm not your signore, you are the Herzog, you are the Duke. I am, you are my signore. In any case, so, yes, so Venice is taking. So, thank you all for watching my comeback uh, in the medieval 2.0 world, and see you again soon.